If the school is sending in a check for students' applications, a list of the students will need to be sent in along with the check so that we are aware of which student accounts it is to be applied to. Naturally, this means that the students will need to have already created their applications. At this screen, students would log in if they have previously created an account. Otherwise, students will need to use the Register button to register first. If the student needs to register, here are the steps. Click the Register button on the home page of the site. Next, you must agree to the terms of use by clicking the appropriate link. Next, students will need to fill in their personal information. Please notice that fields that are marked with an asterisk are required and must be filled in. Once you have filled in all required information, you can simply click the Submit link at the bottom of the page. An ID number will be generated and an email message will be sent to whichever email address you entered. Access your email and click on the message that was sent to you from the system. The email will contain a link and some information that you will need. Simply click on the link in order to continue and validate your account and enter your authorization code that you received in the email. You can make your life simple by simply copying and pasting that authorization code if you like. Enter a username and password that you will be able to remember. Instructions containing rules for the username and password can be found right on this screen. Once you've entered appropriate information, simply click Submit. This will take you to a screen where you can log in the same as you could have at the initial screen had you already had an account. Enter your brand new username and password and click Login. You'll be asked to verify your personal information and notice that this can occur periodically as you continue with the system. Simply review the information, scroll to the bottom, and click Verify. Once you have verified your information, you'll be on your home page. A link to the application form can be found here in the Important Information section on the home page or under Complete a Form. Click on the application link, complete the application form, and choose Submit. Upon submission of your form, you will be sent to a confirmation page. At this point, you are directed to go to your home page and click on the link to submit the payment form. If you need to access the payment form at a later time, you can locate this form under Complete a Form. Let's click Home. Click the link for the appropriate test and language that you wish to take. Make sure that you have selected the correct exam and language and confirm this by checking off the box that indicates that this is the correct selection. At this point, because rather than the student making a payment at this time, the check will be received from the school, simply select Save for Later. You will see information now at the top indicating that the save was successful. At this point, there is only one small step left to take. You need to click the New Incident link on the left in order to notify NCBTMB that your application has been submitted and that the payment has been submitted by check. Place a brief description in the summary box and more detail in the description box. Your detail must include the name of the school that sent the check on your behalf and the check number that was sent. Again, it's critical that you include your school name and a check number so that this information can be connected to your account. When done, simply click the button to create the incident detail and this information will be sent to NCBTMB for processing. You should then see an indication that this incident was saved. The remaining steps will be taken by NCBTMB on the back end and you will receive confirmation at a later date.